here is the first exercise inside weeks three and four of the 12 week lower back and core program. It's called the leg slide in four point. Now I love this exercise because it's a really good precursor to the bird dog exercise which is later on in the program and it's a really important core stability exercise. But to be able to do that, you need to learn the stability first in four point. And sliding one leg is a really good start. So once you've got your four point position correct, and what I mean is get your hands vertically right underneath your shoulders, they've got to be straight. The knees need to be vertically under the hips, okay? And so you start off in four point. And this position here, what you've got to try and work on is trying to get your core activated here. And that's where early on in the program you've been learning about how to try and engage your pelvic floor, getting your core switched on and breathing at the same time. If you've got that sorted, then you use that to stabilize your spine so you can move a leg. So from this position, we're gonna switch on here, draw on a bit of pelvic floor, trying to breathe through the ribs, and what I'm gonna try and do is think, okay, I'm in four point. I've gotta move one leg. I'm gonna keep it in contact with the ground though. Before I move though, is my back in neutral? So you can't be in extension like that, sticking your bum out. You can't be rounded up into this cat pose. You need to be in a neutral spine where it's flat through here so you get the best amount of core activation in the stomach. So from that point, I'm gonna go, how do I move my leg? I'm gonna move my right leg and I've got to shift almost my weight onto my hands a little bit more because if I'm in four point, if I move that arm, I'm going to naturally go onto one leg. So from here, I've got to try and shift that weight onto my hands so I do not move. And the way I'm doing that is I'm connecting through here, through my core, and then going to move my leg. And then I've got to bring it back. What I don't want to see is when you move your leg, shifting away onto that knee. So that's, don't, don't tr let yourself do that. You've got to tighten here good enough that you can connect through two hands. And when you shift that leg, your spine doesn't move at all. And you're keeping that core on. Now you notice because I'm talking, that means I'm breathing. So you're not allowed to hold your breath and try and move one leg at a time and just tightening through here. And this is gonna teach you to try and, can I stabilize here and move my lower limb? Because if you can do that, then you should be able to raise your arm at the same time. And then you get the contralateral bird dog position, which is later on in the program. But like I said, starting off on that four point leg slide is a really good way to try and activate your core and talk to your lower back to stabilize your spine. It's all about getting those muscles switching on and keeping that spine in a stable position while you move your leg, which is a very good foundation for pelvic, lumbo pelvic stability when you're walking, moving, squatting, lifting, that sort of thing. It's very good to do it in this position. And the other good thing about that is it's unloaded, okay? If you've got a bit of a sore lower back or a covering from a back injury, being in this position, doing a control exercise like that it's not going to stress out the lower back, it's not going to put any demand on your disc, it's not going to put demand on the joints. You're just going to get lumbar spine switching on, stabilizing, which is exactly what you want if it's been in spasm and pain. It's turning on and it's a really good pain reliever. Like these sort of exercises are better than stretches sometimes because they turn the muscle from being in spasm to actually activating which knocks out some of the pain. So if you're in pain, this is probably a good one to start working on um, as a starting point, and that's why it is in weeks three and four. So give that one a shot. The next one up is leg floats.